Good afternoon. This week's word of the week is going to be bird nesting. Uh, bird nesting occurs in gas mower welding, flux core welding uh, machines. It kind of sounds like a slang term or a made up term, uh, but it's not. It's a very common term, very important for you to know if you're in the welding industry. And basically what it is, is a tangled up ball of, of wire that gets in the machine if you have an error around the contact tip area. So what I got here is a man-made bird nest. Here, we'll zoom in on this so you can see a little bit better real quick, and then we'll come back to the board here. So this is what a, a man-made bird nest is, and I just crumple up a, a ball of MIG wire. But it kind of resembles a bird nest. That's why they call it bird nesting. But um, this is what it looks like in the machine. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the whiteboard and continue to define what it is and troubleshoot it a little bit, and then we'll head out to the lab, and I did a... Another man-made created bird nest on purpose so you can see what it looks like in the machine. So we'll go back to the whiteboard now for now. So we showed you kind of what a, what a bird nest looks like, an artificial one that we made on purpose here. Um, but let's just go through all this stuff here. Gas metal arc welding, flux core arc welding, those are the processes this is going to happen in. Uh, the dry rolls keep going if you freeze your contact tip, right? So it doesn't have to be frozen either, it could just be bad feedability, maybe it's just a bad contact tip. Um, but when you're, when you're welding, if it stops coming out, stop pulling the trigger or you're going to get a bird nest. Um, tangled ball of wire, that's all it is. It's a tangled ball of wire that forms at the dry rolls when your contact tip gets frozen or maybe it's just not feeding right because maybe you got a piece of spatter stuck to it. it it's usually all in the contact tip. Uh, problem with the contact tip creates a tangled ball of wire by the dry rolls. What do you have to do? Rethread the machine. It can be a pain. Uh, you can damage some stuff down there. Some of them are plastic, depending on what you're doing. Uh, the ones we got out there are all aluminum, so they're pretty tough. Uh, but you're going to have to rethread the machine. So basically, what's going on here? You're pulling the trigger. Something bad happens to contact tip. The dry rolls are going to keep going, even if it's not coming out. That creates a tangled ball of wire. The dry rolls. To fix it, you're going to have to rethread the machine. Um, Common term, bird nesting. So just remember that's what bird nesting is. Now, a way to prevent this, over here, stop pulling the trigger. If the wire comes out, or stops coming out, don't keep pulling the trigger, because when you're doing that, you're creating the bird nest. People do this all the time. If the wire stops coming out, something's wrong. It's time to troubleshoot. Stop pulling the freaking trigger. It drives me nuts when people do that. I'll hear it. You'll hear tick, 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 tick. Walk around the corner, there's somebody looking at the contact tip, pulling the trigger. Stop pulling the freaking trigger. That's what causes this bird nest. So we'll go out and we'll show you one that we, uh, we actually pulled the slide out. I couldn't even get it to work because the machine was so, um, uh, it was made to not have bird nesting. So it actually was so good I couldn't get one to work unless I pulled the slide out. But I pulled the slide out and um, we created a bird nest. I'll just show you what it looks like in the machine. Um, fixing it. You just got to re-thread it, but that's downtime, right? So that's that's money. So um, the big deal here, know what bird nesting is. It's a tangled ball of wire that forms when your contact tip gets frozen in the machine. So we'll go out in the lab and we'll check one out that we uh, did on purpose here. Now this is a MIG gun, and the reason I, I did a um, bird nesting video was because somebody had actually froze a contact tip. So I, I knew I could create a bird nest with a frozen contact tip. And you can see that, that contact tip has a big gob right on the end of it. That is what causes bird nesting. There's a, a chunk of metal on there that's not letting the wire come through. So we'll take a look at the machine here and show you what the bird nest looks like. This is the drive rolls on the frozen contact tip. And you can see it's just a big ball of wire. So if you want to fix that, you just got to re-thread it. Now, I'll, I'll kind of um, I'll make a noise that I always hear people doing when I know that there's a bird nest being formed. That's what people do. And the wire doesn't come out of the contact tip, and usually I come around the corner and they're staring at it. You're just making the bird nest uh, a lot worse. So for God's sakes, stop pulling the trigger if it stops coming out of the contact tip. It's time to troubleshoot. That's all we got for this week. Word of the week, bird nesting. Prevention and how to fix it. So thanks for watching, subscribing to TV Weld. We'll see you next week. We're out of here.
Thank you.